this is Pastor Byron from Life Point Church in Lexington, North Carolina. We find ourselves still living in the COVID-19 pandemic. For some of you, you're so ready for this to end. So ready for what I hear some people saying, I just want life to return to normal. Ah, oh. but the words, life returned to normal. What does that mean? What does that mean to you? What are you saying? I suggest you may want to consider the possibility that referring to life returning to normal as you experienced prior to COVID-19, that life is in all probability forever gone. As a nation, America will not return to business as usual. Once this crisis has ended, we cannot default back to yesterday. The questions we were asking and answering before the virus, the questions have changed. With the changing of questions comes the changing of answers. We must consider what life will be like after COVID-19 passes, because it will pass. What will life be like for church? As a church, many of the traditional methods, many of the traditional ways of doing church, for example, just of greeting people, what we call in worship service the time of meeting and greeting. That will not be prudent to continue as we have in the past. Yes, I am aware that what I just said is painful. And I'm aware that some of you are saying right now, well, Pastor Byron, you can say whatever you want. I'm not changing. That is your choice. That is your choice for you. But the American life will be forever different. Church will be forever different. Now let's understand. Here's what's changing and here is what is not changing in the church. The methods in church will be forever different. That is reality. Whether you're ready to admit it or not, that is reality. You may deny the fact, but it's still reality. But may I also be clear the methods are changing. The message is not. The message of the gospel, the message of the good news, will not change. The, the method of discipling people, of growing people in the faith, of meeting people at their source of needs, of, of helping to feed people, of helping to clothe people. This, we have found, has uh, uh, become more prevalent in the church and in America. Do we want to go back to the days when we were basically ignoring that? I don't think so. Let's remember that in times of crisis, we always want to connect with our Creator. Always. The first words out of the mouths of millions when we entered into this pandemic was, Oh God, oh God. You see, the, the reality is that humanity was created by God, our Creator, for a relationship with God. But He never forces the relationship. He provides us with the option. He provides us with the choice. God says, I'm ready to be your Savior. I'm ready to be your guide. I'm ready to be your healer. I'm ready to be your comforter. I'm ready to be your provider. But each one of us must make the individual choice for ourselves of whether or not we're going to believe in Jesus Christ, whether we're going to believe in one God, whether we're going to believe that Jesus Christ, as he said in his words, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. You see, the message of the gospel 
is the message that Jesus gave to the church as our charge. That's our great commission. Now, there are many benefits of being a part of a church family. Obviously, one of them is fellowship. We enjoy seeing each other. We, we enjoy talking with each other. We, we enjoy catching up. And we're missing that right now. And I do understand that. But I challenge you to understand that what is happening in reality is that, yes, we do not have the fellowship that we once had, and we miss it. But the reality of reaching people has never been greater. For our own church, we're reaching more people today than we have ever reached in the history of our church. Do we have the fellowship? The building is closed. But the message continues because the methods have changed. May I remind you of the words of Jesus. In red, he said in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 and following, Come to me, all who are weary, all who are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle, humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. As we walk through this pandemic together, let's not lose sight of God and his design for the church. To reach people. I'm praying. 